Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. TikTok, the popular social media app known for its short-form videos, has been facing scrutiny and concerns from the United States government regarding national security issues. These concerns have led to discussions and debates about the possibility of banning the app in the country. The debate about the potential ban of TikTok started in 2020 when former President Donald Trump issued an executive order that would ban the app in the U.S. unless it was sold to a U.S. company. The order cited concerns about the app's data privacy policies, alleging that TikTok could be used as a tool by the Chinese government to collect data on U.S. citizens. Following the executive order, TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, engaged in negotiations to sell the U.S. operations of the app to American companies. After months of negotiations, a deal was reached in September 2020 with Oracle and Walmart to acquire a minority stake in a new company called TikTok Global, which would be responsible for the app's U.S. operations. However, the deal faced legal challenges, and the U.S. government under President Joe Biden continued to scrutinize TikTok's data privacy policies. In June 2021, President Biden revoked the Trump-era executive order but issued a new executive order that directed the Department of Commerce to conduct a review of apps with ties to foreign adversaries, including TikTok. The review is ongoing, but TikTok has continued to operate in the U.S., and its popularity has only grown. However, there are still concerns about the app's data privacy policies, and some lawmakers are calling for a ban on the app. In a recent interview with Polygon, TikTok CEO Shou Zi Chu addressed the ongoing concerns about the app's data privacy policies and said that the company is committed to transparency and protecting user data. He emphasized that TikTok is an American company, with American leadership and American investors, and that the company takes data privacy seriously. Despite these assurances, the debate about a potential TikTok ban in the U.S. continues, with some lawmakers pushing for a ban on the app outright. If a ban were to happen, it would be a significant blow to TikTok's popularity and user base in the U.S., and it could have implications for other social media apps with ties to foreign companies. Ultimately, the fate of TikTok in the U.S. remains uncertain, and it will likely depend on ongoing discussions and negotiations between the U.S. government and the app's parent company, ByteDance. In addition to concerns about data privacy, there are also broader geopolitical concerns surrounding the potential ban of TikTok. Some experts argue that banning the app could lead to a retaliatory response from China, further straining the already tense relationship between the U.S. and China. Others argue that a ban on TikTok could have a negative impact on free speech and expression, as the app has become a popular platform for social and political commentary, particularly among younger users. At the same time, there are also concerns about the potential influence of foreign governments on social media platforms, particularly as they become increasingly important sources of information and communication. While the debate about TikTok's potential ban continues, the app has continued to attract millions of users in the U.S. and around the world. The app's popularity has also attracted the attention of other social media giants, such as Facebook and Instagram, which have launched their own short-form video features in an attempt to compete with TikTok. Ultimately, the question of whether or not TikTok will be banned in the U.S. remains unresolved. The outcome will depend on ongoing negotiations between the U.S. government and TikTok's parent company, as well as broader debates about the role of social media and technology in society. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe.